Hey there, I'm Michael Marshall with Ultimate Leadership Martial Arts and this is the first of 12 instructor series we're going to be doing throughout the year and so welcome uh, with Ultimate Leadership Martial Arts. Our first topic is going to be leadership and so we're going to kind of talk about that a little bit here. Uh, with leadership, you know, you might think of leadership as uh, a group of people that are in charge or whoever's in charge of your association or whoever's in charge of your academy or you're the leadership or whatever, but the word leadership, the way I want you to think about it is a mindset, okay? It's kind of a way of life, all right? So your leadership skills that you're working on and building, hopefully, uh, is just kind of the way you're mentally training yourself, okay? So that's what I want you to think about as far as where leadership goes. And we know leadership is a word right now that's tossed around everywhere. We want our kids to learn leadership. We want business leadership. We want all this leadership. And so uh, being that that is such a hot topic thing, we want to make sure that we are instilling that in the way we do things, not just our students, but us ourselves. Okay. All right. So what we're going to talk about is three questions. Okay. So as far as leadership goes in you, three questions you want to ask yourself. Okay. Again, this is mainly for those of us that are martial arts school owners and instructors. So we're out here teaching classes. We're out here running uh, martial arts lessons. Okay. And so the first question is, what am I doing before my classes start that's going to ensure success in my classes, okay? And so what am I doing? So let's say I have an hour before classes start and I've got 50 million more chores to do, activities to do before classes start. You know, do I want to do all those activities all the way up until I throw my uniform and come out and teach class? Uh, do I want to run all those errands really quickly and then get back here just in time for class? Uh, or not, okay? And me personally, I don't. I want to be able to have at least... Uh, 15 to 20 minutes before anybody walks in the door for class, that may be 30 or 40 minutes before classes start, to where I kind of mentally uh, kind of pump myself up, okay? So maybe it's, uh, you know, watching some martial arts videos of some different drills, or maybe it's writing out class planners, which will be the next thing we'll talk about. Maybe it's just sitting, listening to music, whatever works for you to kind of not just mellow you out, but also to pump you up at the same time. You want to do that because the problem is people walk out on the floor, they're not motivated, okay, and so how do they teach class? Obviously, it's not going to be all that exciting, all right? So mentally preparing yourself. How do you do it? Okay, that's very important because all of us know if you've been doing this any length of time, several of you have been doing this a lot longer than me, we know that inevitably this week an instructor's not going to show up, they're not going to call, they're not going to let us know, they're just not, or maybe they'll we'll be sick all of a sudden or whatever, and we have to be mentally prepared for that. And if we let those obstacles defeat us mentally, Again, how does that affect your classes, all right? You may have a kid get sick in the middle of class. If you're not mentally prepared to handle it, you're not going to know what to do, and that's going to catch you way off guard, okay? So, uh, whether it be mental, you know, that, that positive mental talk that you do to yourself before class starts, and this class will be the best class I've ever taught, uh, that stuff is really important. It may sound silly, but it does make a difference, all right? Now, the second question you want to ask yourself, the second question is, what am I doing to plan for successful classes. What am I doing to plan that this class is going to be a success or these classes tonight are going to be successful? And for me, that means writing out a class planner. Writing out a lesson planner sounds so basic, so simple. You may have your uh, assistant instructors do it or a beginner instructor do it because you want to check off, yeah, that's a good class planner, go ahead and teach that. But are you doing it, okay? Um, I know for me, when I teach a class that's fully planned out, that I get more accomplished in less time I have more time for other drills that I like to teach. My students learn more, they have more fun, and as I'm planning my classes out, I'm looking into more drills. I'm uh, you know, studying and researching uh, different drills, different activities, because as I'm writing it out, I may get stumped, and so I need some motivation. Uh, whereas if I just walk out and start teaching class, what am I gonna do? Okay, without having a lesson planner, you're gonna do what you've always done, okay? And if you like what you've always gotten, keep it up. But we want to make sure we understand that if I walk into a gym without a plan and I just get a workout in, yes, I may sweat, but it's not necessarily a good workout unless I hit the muscle groups in the order that I'm supposed to do with the right amount of reps, right amount of weight, all that stuff. So if I have it written out, planned out, that's, that's the key to success, okay? I'm more than happy to share my lesson planner with you. If you'd like to, if you're a school owner or academy uh, instructor, email me at tkdohio at woh.rr.com, okay? And I'm more than happy to send you a PDF copy of that lesson plan. All right, third question that you want to ask yourself before you get out on the floor is what am I going to do while I'm teaching classes? During the classes, what am I going to do to make sure that my students are getting a high energy class, okay? So you may get out there and teach classes. You may be giving high fives. You may spotlight or highlight students. Uh, you may be patting people on the back. That, those are things right there that are going to keep your students wanting to come back and, and just like upset almost when class is over. They don't want to leave. 
And so, uh, building those high energy. You don't want to be their buddy, you don't want to be their, you know, high five, every five seconds type of person, but you also don't need to be the drill sergeant every five seconds either, all right? So, we can be motivators uh, without being silly or without being uh, over the top with our discipline, okay? And you'll find that the more high energy you are, the less discipline problems you're going to have because what are the students who usually are uh, the problems, what are they going to be doing? They're going to be focused on keeping up with you, all right? So, high energy. Put your voice up a little higher, okay? My instructor always taught me, you know, teach to the back of the class, okay? So if you teach to the back wall of the class, you're always going to be loud enough for the whole class to hear you without yelling, all right? So uh, make sure that you are yourself high energy when you're out there on the floor. And again, yes, classes are going to go by a little bit quicker, all right? But you're going to get more accomplished. You're going to feel better about the progress of you and your students and your instructor team. And you're also going to, uh, you're going to see the value in these three questions, okay? And so, uh, kind of go through these because here's the deal. You're either doing one thing or another in your classes. Either your classes are high energy martial arts educational workouts or they're workouts with some martial arts drills. Do we fall into this category sometimes when we're not careful? Absolutely, I do too. I'll be teaching a class and man, these guys are sweating, but did I teach them anything? Did they learn anything? Now sometimes it's important just to get a hardcore workout. But we want to make sure that our instructors that are teaching under us are not just teaching workouts with some martial arts drills thrown in there, okay? We want to teach life skills. We want to teach personal development. We want to teach those lessons that stick in their heads. We want to teach martial arts and we want them to understand the martial arts side of things, okay? And so we'll go through several other things this year, but that's the first one. So you got your three questions. What am I going to do to mentally prepare? What am I going to do to plan for success? And what am I going to do during classes to make sure I execute those plans with high energy and have a great successful class? All right, thanks. That's it. We'll see you next month.